What's up y'all, Jamie here, and this is my channel, Sensible Home with Jamie. And I have another post-burn candle review for you guys today. We are gonna be talking about Velespa's Panjori Lychee, or Lychee, if you say Lychee, that is fine. Um, according to the Cambridge Dictionary, Lychee is the UK way to pronounce Lychee, so. Um, I say Lychee, you can say Lychee, we can live together and be happy. So um, I hope that doesn't bother you too much. So I did do a haul video um, featuring this, these two candles right here, as well as the Moroccan mint tea candle from Velespa. And I gave my first impressions um, of the scents and the jars and, and that sort of thing. So, I don't remember, did I do, I think I did a, um, a first burn, some first burn shorts on Panjori Lychee. I'll have to go back and look. Um, if I did do the first burn shorts, I will post those below. I honestly cannot remember. But um, anyway, Velespa is out of California. They uh, hand pour all of their candles there in California. Their vessels are absolutely gorgeous if you've never seen them before. I think a lot of people have learned from them from shopping at Sephora. Sephora does carry some Velespa um, candles, but obviously they have these gorgeous glassware jars. They have a lot of different vessels to choose from, different sizes, different designs. And they also have the decorated tins, which I believe is what they started with before they added the glassware. So Velespa is Obviously very beautiful. It's, it is a luxury candle, candle brand. And the scents tend to be a little bit more elevated and classy and more sophisticated. They're not your typical, um, you know, bakery or just tropical fruity or, you know, whatever. The typical scents that you can find pretty much anywhere. These blends are tend to be more special Kind of like Nest New York has special um, has special blends as well. But let's go ahead and get into Panjori Lychee. I had picked up, I believe they call this their classic jar. It does not come with a lid. It is a single wick and this is nine ounces of wax. And the Panjori Lychee scent has lychee, cassis, Asian pear, and then their website also claims that it has melon. And it is a very, very light, watery scent. If you need your scents to be strong and powerful, this is not the scent for you whatsoever. This is very, very strong. Uh, not, no, 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 I'm sorry. Very, very subtle in its scent profile. Um, it's very, very watery um, with just a touch of the already watery scented lychee. There, whenever I first smelled it, I could detect just a hint of sweetness from the pear, but I cannot detect that whenever it's burning. And now that it's down lower, I can't really detect that at all um, into the candle like I could at the very beginning. It's just a very watery light, just a barely a hint of a lychee scent with it. Um, it is noticeable whenever you walk into the room, but um, it's not it's not, it's not a strong scent whatsoever. So, with that being said, some of you may really like this scent um, if you like very subtle and fresh, um, watery, dewy scents. But my husband thought that it smelled like urine. And I don't agree with that, but I do see where he's coming from, why he would say that. You know, he's not a fragrance person. He's not super um, into scents or smells. He's not familiar with different scent notes and, and blends and that sort of thing. So I do understand where he could get that idea from, um, but that's not what I, I smell. I just smell uh, a very dewy and watery and subtle lychee scent. So if you're sensitive to scents, if you're, if you, if you get headaches or you just want something that's very, very, very subtle and is not going to overtake you, 
if I were to take your nose, then you may really like this one. This is the scent for you because it's not, it's not strong. So let's talk about the burn that I had with this. Um, Velespa does use coconut wax. Um, this is a coconut wax blend. And they claim that they chose coconut wax because it's supposed to burn cleaner and better and stronger than paraffin or soy. And that it's supposed to retain the fragrance strength throughout the life of the candle, no matter how low it gets all the way to the end. Um, I'll have to wait until I burn more Velespa candles to see if I agree with those claims because since this scent is so light, I can't really, um, I can't really speak to that per se since, um, you know, obviously it's a light scent to begin with. What I can say is that this coconut wax does burn slower than my Kringle Soy candles do or the Bath & Body Works candles do. It is a, a much slower burning candle, so it's gonna last a little bit longer. If you like your candles to last, um, then this may be a good brand to look at. Uh, not that the Kringle candles go quickly at all because they don't. Kringle Soy lasts a long time. But um, this coconut wax does take longer to pull out and to, and to melt in general. So I've, I've, I've lit this a lot. And being a single wig nine ounce candle, it's taking a long time to get down to the bottom. So it is going to be a long laster. Now, let's talk about some worries that I have with this candle and my experience with it. For the first three or four burns, I ended up foiling this candle because it was not completely pulling out to the edge like Velespa says that it should. Um, as far as I could find, Velespa did not give a time limit for burning their candles. They only say to burn it until it is completely pulled out to the edge of the jar um, to prevent tunneling. So I was doing that and it would just would not, no matter how long I was burning them, five, six hours, it was not um, melting the wax around the edge of the candle. So I foiled it for about 20 minutes um, to get it to completely pull out and then I would, you know, extinguish the candle. And then I contacted Velespa because as well as not completely pulling out to the edge, it was leaving a whole, this whole back part of the jar was not melting correctly because um, the wick is not completely centered on this candle and I will show you in a second. So um, the front of the candle was melting just fine but the back was um, was a little bit neglected with the, with the wax sticking around not being able to, to melt and burn. So I sent pictures to Velespa and they had their you know quality specialists look at the pictures and they told me that it was normal for there to be wax residue on the, the jar, which it was more than wax residue. It was like whole chunks of wax that was stuck to the jar. And that, um, but they assured me the lower it got on the jar, it would eventually melt and, you know, um, it would eventually melt and, and slide down, it'd be fine, which is true. That's exactly what happened. So let me go ahead and show you guys over the top. Maybe you'll be able to tell that the wick is a bit more closely to the front or it favors the front more than the back. Um, but now, yes, all of the wax that was left on the back of the jar that was not burning has melted now that it's down to the bottom. So not a big deal. Even if it didn't completely, you know, ever melt, it's not a big deal. But it did bother me just considering how expensive the candle is and you know if you want that very clean looking burn you know like Kringle and Bath and Body Works can give you um if you don't mind a more rustic look with you know like wax being on the jar it gives it a more like antique well used cottage core um kind of vibe and aesthetic and that's fine too like I can appreciate both I'm just giving you guys the my experience of what happened. Um, 
but yeah, I, um, I will be buying more Velespa candles and I am so excited to burn my three wick tin of the Moroccan mint tea. Now let's talk about this little dude because they sent me this and this is Jardin de Vervin. It is their brand new release. They just released it March 1st and I really like this scent. This is one that I would consider purchasing in a larger size. Um, I don't remember all of the notes um, accredited to this scent but it is primarily lemongrass and I think there's a bit of lime um, jasmine maybe, there's verbena, and there's like herbal cuttings, I think is something else that they claim. Uh, it's primarily like a lemongrass and lime scent, which I adore. Oh, it smells so, so good. If you love lemongrass or lime at all, this will be up your alley. I'm sorry if you can, you guys can hear my cat in the background. She's having a little, little drama moment at the, <laughs> at the time. So Jardin de Vervin is a brand new release. It is available now if you guys want to check it out. It is a beautiful lemongrass, lime, and herbal scent. And I love the marketing video that they made for this scent as well. Y'all go check it out on their website. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions over um, Velespa candles, um, anything I, I may not have covered with this candle in my review. Um, I'll let you guys know how it goes with the Moroccan uh, mint tea candle. Obviously, I'll be posting first burn shorts on it and then as well a post burn review. Um, <clears throat> comment if you've ever tried this scent and if you agree with my husband that it smells like urine or um, if you could pick up like more of the pear than I can. Or let me know if you are a avid Velespa user and if you have any favorite scents from the brand that I need to try. I have my eye on, what is it called? It's the, uh, it's like the Goji Taraco Orange. I probably butchered that name, um, but that one I want to try. They have so many scents, you guys, and I'm interested in almost all of them. So let me know your recommendations. Um, but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.